work, damn it. Work. Come on, damn it, work. Hey, welcome back to my arcade workshop and today I am working on Pac-Man boards and um, today I have been having a problem with this one board and uh, hopefully I have think I have figured out exactly what's wrong with it the one problem was easy the next problem was I just got lucky and found it and by a lot of careful searching and um, if you look at the board now let me zoom in on it here uh, let's just move the whole camera. You'll notice that the one goes speedy is gray, and we're having an issue where the characters are real jittery. Kind of looks like they drank like way too much coffee. And um, basically I think I figured out what's causing this problem. So I, I discovered that the reason why the character ROM on uh, let's see, 7F, 7F, right? Let's see. This character ROM right here, 7F, was causing the character problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this PROM here. And you'll see that that'll fix the problem. So what you do is turn this off. Gently pull this out from the side. Get yourself... A nice screwdriver like this. Gently lift the chip out. Don't bend the legs. Set it aside. Get your new P-ROM. Put it in here. And replace this. And we'll turn the game back on. And Pinky is pink again. So that was a bad character. PROM. So now, the next problem is this jitteriness. Where all the characters are moving around. So, the next thing I did was I got a suggestion on KLOV. Uh, the arcade forums and uh, to take a look at all the traces and stuff on the back of the board so basically searching on the back of the board I was able to find a broken trace so let's turn this off unplug this and flip it over Now what I found, let's see where, where is it, was right here, there's a broken little trace gouged out right here, so, I don't know if I get that any closer, if you look at it right there at the tip of the screwdriver, there's a broken trace, and that's going in between this third resistor pack leg and then you flip this over and then that get, that trace pops up right here where this little 
mark is, then it comes this way and heads over here to 3H. And it is pin 7. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It comes right here to this leg of the chip. So it's the second one from the end. So I'm going to make a jumper wire and patch that real quick and see if the jitteriness goes away. So what I'm going to do is get myself some nice uh, jumper wire here. This is some stuff I picked up online. It's like actual Radio Shack brand, but it's one spool of this has been lasting a very, very long time. So what you do is you skin the end just slightly kind of like fleck off the uh, outer casing of this. until you get a nice you know, clean edge there you can work with and you find your spot on the board let's see here right right here and then you find out how much you need so I gotta probably go from that soldering pad to this leg on the resistor pack and that and cut it so now I got a little piece of wire I'll finish scraping the stuff off it which is a lot easier said than done So now I've got my little piece of jumper wire and this tiny little piece of wire we're going to solder on the board to jump that broken contact. probably a good idea to tin these pads real quick the way you're going to be doing it so I'll tin this pad tin the leg of the resistor pack and I'll grab something to hold the wire down because you definitely don't want to touch this wire while you're heating it up because it gets really hot As soon as you get one more, oh. you don't want to do that either. Accidentally cross two pads. So you move this over here. Hold down. Put your soldering iron away. Not exactly the cleanest job in the world. Multimeter, test this, make sure I get contact. 
good. And now I still get in contact there, which is bad. I gotta clean that up real quick. this heats up. Alright, no contact now. Good. Next, let's see if this fixed the problem. After fixing that trace, now let's uh, turn it on and see what happens. Characters are coming in, looks smooth. Let's coin it up real quick. Ghosts are moving the way they're supposed to. And looks like that fixed it. So basically, uh, let's zoom out. Okay, so basically the problems with this board were a bad P-ROM at um, 7F and uh, a broken resistor, uh, a trace between a resistor pack at RM RM4 and pin 7 to 3H. So the the uh, broken trace between RM4 resistor pack, it was like the third leg up from the bottom of the board, and um, that connected to the three pin uh, 3H or, or pin 7 on uh, chip 3H. So basically, that one little broken trace was causing the uh, characters to look like they're uh, had way too much coffee and they're sitting there shaking like this going across the screen so if you run across this problem that's uh, how to fix it and that's um, another board working and now somebody can go and play this and uh, I'll be fixing this one up and getting it out and I got a let's just say I have a few pack boards to work on so um, you look at uh, my pile here, um, I'm not really uh, sure, I forget kind of how many I have, so I got a, they're all spilled out and there's another box of them over there, so um, probably over 30 boards, and then my uh, 
I'm setting the tripod on a uh, box of uh, Miss Pac-Man uh, daughter cards. So uh, basically, <laughs> it's just more stuff to do, and uh, I still have plenty of other projects left, and uh, more uh, Galaga boards I have to get back to at some point. So um, this was a uh, another episode of my arcade workshop, and I hope you guys learned something about uh, board repair here and. Um, Keep on playing these games, man. I'll see you guys later.